Let's do a little prayer. Let's meditate real quick before we get into this. Universe, please block out any negativity that's about to come to my channel because I know it's going to shake things up. And because I'm not going to like what I have to say about their faith. Namaste. <laughs> Hey stars, it's your star sister Corey. I'm back here with another video for you girls. Hi, hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Corey Cheyenne. Feel free to follow us on this wonderful journey of becoming great and discovering who the fuck we are if you have not already. And welcome to the dream team. Go ahead and subscribe and follow me on all my socials to be a part of the dream team and hit the notification bell so that way you'll be notified when I make new posts. So today we're gonna be doing something a little different here on my channel. Usually I don't really do videos like this, but Usually, I don't really do videos like this, but I just wanted to, you know, throw my opinions out there because I kind of want to shake it up a little bit. And um, not to say that I'm getting bored with my old content, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to dip and dab into new different things. Um, basically, like, I mean, not to say that I'm trying to be a commentary channel or do celebrity um, commentary anything, but when it comes to, like, rap, and music, I love music and I love rap music. I love female rap, I love female artists and I'm big on it and it's just something that I'm very opinionated about and I just wanna kinda talk about. Um, so, before we get into this video, let me just start off by saying this is not to bash anybody. Um, you know, I love all female rappers and we're gonna get into that more later on in the video. I don't know who's gonna see this, but do not be in my comments with that BS because I Baby, you will definitely get, get booted, you know what I'm saying? It's easy for me to block you from my channel or whatever the case is. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now that we got all that out of the way, um, I don't know. Most of you might know. Most of you might not know. Um, I'm also I'm not having a fresh face today. I'm not putting on any makeup, as you can see, girl. But I'm on my hippie shit, too, with the looks, girl, which I think. Is she giving? Anyways, okay, so... Most of you might know, most of you might not know, but my favorite rapper is Megan Thee Stallion. Um, if you don't know who she is, you definitely should go check her out. She's all about women and female empowerment, and she just makes you feel good and confident about yourself, and she also knows how to set the mood to have a great time. You know what I'm saying? She is the hot girl summer, the hot girl hottie, like, you know what I'm saying? She's the stallion everything. She's from Houston, Texas. You know, I'm from Texas, so it's probably, like, another reason why I really, really, like, resonate with her because, like, it's, we have so much in common. I believe she's 25, and she's an Aquarius, and I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> what? But, yeah, so, um, anyways, most of you who don't know, I also want to give, um, not give a shout-out. I also want to say congratulations to her on her comeback and her new single that just dropped. I need to go check that out. I'm going to be giving a review on that song and video as well in this video. I'm not going to play it, though, because I want y'all to go over there and see for yourselves. Yes. Um, so, anywho. She took, like, a little break or whatever from, like, April, and she came back. She came back hard. You know, she wants to go work on herself, work on her bars, and things of that sort. But congratulations, Megan, and I need you guys to go check out that Thought Shit video and listen to the song, because when I tell you that thing is put bad, bad... I don't give too much, because I don't want to get copyrighted. But, yeah, so, um... Anyways, let's just start off with the song first. We're going to start off with the song. The song itself is very hot girl summer, very Tina Snow. If you don't know Megan or you don't know anything about Megan, she has, you know, um, a few different um, characters. Sugar, Tina Snow, Hot Girl Meg, and Megan Thee Stallion. As of now, those are the only ones that we know of. So, Tina Snow... Is the one that everybody fell in love with. Tina Snow, she's very much like, you know, that bitch. Like, she don't take shit from nobody. She don't care what y'all have to say. None of that. Um, and I don't know Megan Thee Stallion personally. I also want to throw that out there as well. She's just my favorite artist, you know, which is why I can understand a lot of the things of the things that we're going to get into a little bit later on in this video. But pretty much, like, 
she just likes to have fun, Megan likes to turn up, and a lot of people love to, and that's what inspired this song as well from her. Um, a lot of people love to sit here and they like to put her down because she promotes a lot of ass shaking and she promotes a lot of feminism things as far as like talking about, you know, her coochie or her booty or whatever the case is. Like, she doesn't mind being vocal, uh, vocal about her body parts and her natural body and, you know, getting money from niggas and stuff like that like everybody doesn't think like that so everybody won't resonate with her but coming from where she comes from that's like i feel like that would be the only reason you would have to understand and a lot of people try to put her down just because she likes to promote that plus i feel like megan is young she likes to drink we're all young we're like the same age like we drink, we turn up, we shake ass, and it's just like, I feel like a lot of people expect so much out of her, and they want her to be like somebody that she's not. And that's the problem. That's why everybody has such an issue with Megan and the way that she does her music. But at the end of the day, that's always been Megan since day one. That's the Megan that everyone fell in love with. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the reason why she said she took her little break as well, because she felt like she was losing sight of who she was and where she started off to begin with. She felt like she was losing like so she was in the game you know what i'm saying and how everyone put their negative comments and their input on megan and her music and stuff all she really wanted to do was just get back to the old her and remember why she started this in the first place and remember what it was that really got her to take off she basically was explaining like oh you know like i was you know kind of scared to be myself and do what i do because of what people thought you know and she felt like the more famous that she got the more harder it got and the more hate that it brought and the more expectations that people you know were having out of her and the more of a magnifying glass that you, they put on her so megan honestly had a lot on her plate megan is megan is that girl like it's there's no other way to put it like you i mean i feel like you love her or hate her if you hate megan I don't know I don't know why but if it has to do really with her just talking about shaking ass but if your other faves make music about that it's okay I really feel like it's just because Megan is like real hood you know what I'm saying and she just really like just really stands on her shit and that's all it really is this is the confidence and it's just like most of the rappers these days either they're old and washed up um or they just I don't know, like, they really just, like, don't give what they were supposed to have been gave. Or most of them start off, you know, a certain type of way, and then they go to a whole different level, and it's like, y'all expect everybody to be the same. First of all, Megan, she just became famous, what? I think she really blew up. I, I feel personally, I feel like Megan really blew up in 2018 when she dropped her Tina Snow album. Um... Because that's, you know, when Big Ol' Freak and all that, like, really came out. Megan really, like, put put in that work work, you know what I'm saying? But she's still fresh in the industry. And being as big as she is, she got big really quick. So, I feel like a lot of people are expecting her to do this and do that. And they talk about versatility, but it's like, okay, a lot of people can be versatile. But what's the point of doing all of this if you're not going to be true to yourself? And that's where I feel like Megan is coming from. I mean, I can't read her mind, but... Just from, you know, watching her, listening her to her, and relating to her, I feel like that's where she's coming from. And for the most part, I agree with her. Like, I mean, not to say that Megan is perfect, but, I mean, who is? You know what I'm saying? But I guess I can understand why most of the girls feel the way that they do about their faves. Um, because they, I don't know, like, they see no wrong in what they do. And, like, I see no wrong in what Megan does either. I'm with Megan 100% on everything. I know Megan's not perfect. I know she's not perfect, but she's my favorite artist. She's perfect in my eyes. Yeah, but anyway, so we definitely promote the hot girl shit, the hot girl era on this channel, and we definitely are some hot girls. Um, you know, not only that, but we're also city girls and things of that sort, but we're gonna get into that in a second. So, check out the Thought Shit song, and I want y'all to also go check out the video, because the video, it really pinpoints, like, everything like everything she's talking about you know kind of like how you got the senators the governors your, your local and your um international politicians 
who will go on the internet and type all these hate comments and really just degrade women. And I really feel like it's because she's black. Mind you, the politician is white in the video. And this is real stuff that really happens. Because Megan is a black girl and she's promoting her black girl shit. And she's not like, you know... Uh, dumbing herself down for the white eye and and honest and, and um by the way I'm not racist so don't think that this is shot at Caucasian people but I'm just you know letting it know I'm just saying the real I'm just saying the real girl so yeah uh Megan really like in that video was just expressing how much she is shaking ass on these haters whether you whether you are a white politician or if you're a, a black bitch in the industry excuse my language not black bitch a black girl in the industry or just anything like or a man like anything like a lot of people say that she's degrading herself as a woman because she's always showing her ass and blah 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 but it's like girl Shut up, grow up. If you don't like to listen to Megan, girl, go listen to somebody old and watch up. Go listen to some gospel or something. Sit down. Honey, it's hot girl summer. We talking about. <laughs> but yes, girl, so that video is roll, it's roll up. And the one thing I really love about Megan is she always, like, well, not always, but she's gotten more into showcasing the LGBT community in her videos. Is she also she always puts like someone, you know, like, um, whether it be someone voguing or a trans girl, like anything. It just I love it so much. Her videos are so creative, so crappy. It's probably like her best video yet. You need to go check it out. I'm not gonna say it no more. Meg for president. <laughs> Meg for president. But yeah, so uh moral of the story is I love Megan. Megan is literally like everything to me i don't usually put celebrities on a high pedestal like that i don't i don't pray celebrities like that and um even even megan like i don't put her above me but i love her so much i relate to her so much like i never met like met i never felt a celebrity on a scale of relatability is that a word as much as i do with megan like i don't know it's just it's so it's so different and but i love megan though like Again, words cannot express how much I love Megan, y'all. Words can't express it. But, girl, yeah, so with that being said, we're going to move right on to our next topic. Go, go check that out. Give her, you know, some likes and shit. Period. I love Megan. She And she's a sweetheart. She's genuine, too. Um. So, yeah. Next thing. The female rap game. Hmm. So, I feel like with the female rap game... Everybody is so quick to compare everyone to each other, you know, and that's the problem. I personally, I love all female rappers. I love all female rappers. From Mulatto to Megan Thee Stallion to the City Girls. Like, I love me some Young Miami and JT. I love me some Young Miami and JT. You know, I'm with that hood shit. Okay, I'm from Texas. You know, they're from Miami, but still. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, I even love Erica Banks, even though her and Megan don't really see eye to eye like that. Um, Ken the Man, she's a new upcoming rapper from Houston. Um, Light Skin Keisha, she's from Atlanta. Who else? I keep going. Dream Doll, love Dream Doll. Um, it's, it's so, it's so many. And that's literally like just scratching the surface. Like, it's so many female rappers. Oh, oh, <laughs> can't forget. Love Cardi B, love Nicki Minaj, okay? We're gonna get to that later though. I feel like a lot of people, like, it's, it's really like a lot of female rappers the female rap game has definitely transitioned to a new era it's a new time these days and it's just different from what it used to be and the female rappers are definitely taking over and that's the thing a lot of people don't like female rappers these days is because they're standing on their shit and they're not taking no shit from nobody can it's not a it's not a a, a man well, I think I do still think men run the industry, but they're not letting the men take over completely. You know, they're still holding their own. Like it's so many independent rappers, you know, like and it's just crazy, like it's just crazy how the industry is nowadays. And I just I love it. I love to see it. I love to see my fellow women really come up, stand on their shit, pop their shit, make, you know, wonderful music for people to vibe to, or whether it's making music like even female rappers who rap but are in their feelings. I love that too. Like, it's just, I love everything about feminism and things of that sort. Like, it really, like, it really gets my rock swab. Not like that. Boom, girl. So, yeah. Um, the female rap game, I think, is so dope. I just hate how everyone tries to pin all women against each other and constantly compare women to each other. I feel like 
you know, as women, and I'm going to be inclusive because it, it goes to trans women as well. You know, this is not it's not about trans or cisgender or anything. As women in general, we are all already so competitive with each other. We're so, you know, there's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of envy, there's a lot of insecurities, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of um, lack of confidence. And it's just crazy because instead of lifting one another up because we already are so degraded by men, and that's the whole movement. We're already so degraded by men, we're already put down by men, and it's just like, we can never, like, well, why can't we just come together as women and stand on, you know what I'm saying? But it always has to be somebody pinning someone against each other and they just love to see women fight. They just love to see women fight. And I know that you can't make every woman get along because it's clearly impossible. It, trust me, it doesn't matter how nice you are, how sweet you are, how supportive you are, um, or how humble or genuine you are. It's, it's, it's just impossible, inevitably impossible for um, all women to get along. Like, it's just, it's never gonna happen. But, yeah, girl, so, um, that's just how I feel about that. And I just feel like, you know, I just wish it would stop. I don't think it ever will stop because it's just so many, it's so many different factors of comparing women, whether your body's real or if your body's fake or whether your skin is light or if your skin is dark, you know, um, whether if, like, you know what I'm saying, if you're popular or if you're not popular, whether you're from the hood or you're from the suburbs, like, it's just so many different Factors, it's so many, it's so much duality. That's the problem. Like, it's so much duality. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's either this or this, never this. You know what I'm saying? It's so much separation. It sucks, but that's how the world is, girl. And honestly, I just honestly, I hope and pray for better days. Um, I do think that it's getting a lot better. Maybe I say that real lightly because it's just like when you think that there's progress being made in the world today, it's like you will see something and it just takes that whole, it just takes that away, girl. But nevertheless, girl, yeah, so I'm just like, I don't know, I love the female rap game though. A lot of people don't really like it. A lot of people wish it was how it used to be back in the day where the men used to run all over these women and not give them all their money that they, you know, worked hard for. You know, they don't really appreciate the women as they should because the women play a big part in music as well. But, I mean, hey, things are getting different. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see a an all-female music label ran by nothing but the top-notch of the top-notch women. I would love to see it. And black women at that. I would love to see it. I would love to see it because I think that could be possible for maybe like a white, like for a white woman, you know, and even if a white woman to run it, I mean, mm, yeah, but it would need to be a white woman who is, you know, inclusive, you know what I'm saying? I don't know because you guys know how that goes, the white privilege and things, girl, we're not even going to get into that because that has nothing to do with this, but what well, kind of does, but anyways, yeah, so it's just like. Oh, and I love, I love white female rappers. Oh, white female rappers, by the way. My favorite rapper used to be Lil Debbie. She's from Oakland. She used to be like a rapper rapper, but I don't really think she raps like that anymore. Um, but yeah, she used to be like, she used to pop her shit. When I was in high school, she really like, really used to pop her shit. She used to make me feel so good about myself. She used to like, help me a lot. And um, not only that, but uh, who else? Oh, um, Tay Money, she's a white girl. Um, she's from Dallas, Texas. Like, I love Tay Money. I love me some Tay Money. Love me some Tay Money. And there's plenty of others, too. I can't really think right off the dome right now. But there's plenty of others, too. But, girl, yeah. So, if there was, like, ever, like, an all-female music label ran by powerful, top-notch black women, what? What? So women taking over. I'm talking about female engineers, female producers, female composers, like, female owners, like, I'm talking about female everything, whether they were, you know, lesbian or bisexual or straight women, it wouldn't even matter, like, it's so crazy just to think of, like, things like that, that's how my mind works, like, I think of, like, out of the box, crazy, just crazy stuff, like, but I love it, though, I love it, it's a vibe. Okay, girl, so let's get into the last topic of this video. I don't know how long this topic is going to take. But I have so much to say. <sighs> Let's do a little prayer. Let's meditate real quick before we get into this. 
Universe, please block out any negativity that's about to come to my channel because I know this is going to shake things up. And because I'm not going to like what I have to say about their face. Namaste. <laughs> Girl. Oh my God. Y'all just don't understand. Okay, so. <sighs> Let's get into you fucking barbs. And Nicki Minaj. Now let me start off by saying this before I get into anything. I love Nicki. I adore Nicki. Okay. I love Nicki so much. I wouldn't call myself a Barb, but I definitely am a fan, for sure. You know, I follow her on Instagram, I repost her all the time. I listen to her music support, like I love I love me some Nicki. I love me some Nicki, undeniable about She's beautiful. She's a queen, I wouldn't call her the queen. She's a queen, you know, she's a queen. Um, she's done a lot. She's definitely up there, definitely up there. Cause she has paved the way for a lot. Okay, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Nikki her credit. I'm gonna give her respect. I love Nikki. I have no issue. Yes, I do have an issue with Nikki. We'll get into that. But I love Nikki. I love Nikki. But Nikki is a throw the rock and hide a hand type of girl, and I don't like that. I don't like it. I feel like Nikki's a bully. I feel like Nikki, um, you know, she, <sighs> and there's nothing wrong with confidence, you know, there's nothing wrong with confidence, and I mean, hey, the numbers and the statistics and, and, and the money and everything shows, it speaks for itself when it comes to Nikki. So if I was her, I, I would feel the same way, like I'm better than everybody, but I feel like she does it in a way where she's not humble, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like Nikki, I feel like Nikki's a bully. She's a bully, and, and she tries to make it seem like people bully her. She tries to make it seem like, you know, whatever. Like, I just don't, I don't like it. And then she lets her fan base attack anything or anyone that disagrees with Nikki. I don't like it. Now, before I get back to Nikki, let's get to you fucking barbs. I can't stand you bitches. I really can't. I really can't stand y'all. I said it, and I don't care how y'all feel about that. You barbs are a whole different type of level of delusional crazy. Like, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Half of y'all don't even know Nikki personally. Never seen her a day in your life. Nikki don't even know y'all exist. And the way that y'all do is so weird. It has nothing to do with you praising Nikki. Praise Nikki. And this isn't for all barbs, okay? It's for you. You weird ass, like, real obsessed like it's 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 really crazy it baffles me <laughs> it's, it's baffling it's really crazy so anyways it's not all the barbs because i love the barbs who barb in peace barb in peace girl barb in peace love and support your queen i feel you i really do nikki is a queen you know what i'm saying um but it's just Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm not gonna say her name on this channel because bitch, you will not be getting no motherfucking clout off of me. But there's this one, I'm pretty sure there's a plenty other, but there's this one um, blog uh, channel in particular on YouTube. And for some reason, YouTube loves recommending that bitch to me. I cannot stand her. And the reason why is because, I mean, your whole channel is wrapped around Nikki and that's cool that's fine that is no, there's nothing wrong with that but for you to literally put every literally everyone beneath Nikki Nikki does no wrong no one can ever take um accountability for Nikki's actions Nikki can't even take accountability for her own actions Nikki's not perfect that's the problem and like like I said there's nothing wrong with Nikki. I love Nikki but everybody Accountability is a thing. Accountability is a thing. She can be shady. And it's just like, people see no wrong in anything that Nikki does. So it's just like, no. Because some of the shit that Nikki does is not, it's not okay. It's not okay. Just because you are at the very, very tippy top does not, does not make anything okay that you do. Every Everything, I should say, not anything. Everything that you do is not okay. So, 
this blog will literally talk about something, right? Have a topic. Of course, it has to do with Nikki and anything Nikki. Anything surrounded by Nikki. Literally, every video is like, Nikki, 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 Nikki. You would have thought that she had ate Nikki's pussy before. Probably still eating it to this day. So she would have thought the way that she dick rides Nikki. So, girl, this girl literally, like, anytime something goes down and it involves Nikki and another person, everything has to be justified. That's not, that's, it's not, that's not how it goes. It's not okay. That's not how it goes. Like, everything that Nikki does is not justifiable. It doesn't justify anything. And then she always has to try to come up with some type of receipts or this and that. That's toxic. That's toxic. Nikki's barbs are toxic. Half of them. Not all of them. But I just feel like the barbs are so toxic. And y'all attack people who don't like Nikki or have something negative to say about Nikki or who holds Nikki accountable for her fucked up actions sometimes. Because Nikki can be a fucked up person sometimes. That's just true tea. The Nik- Nikki has great music. She's beautiful. You know, I'm I'm happy for her and her family, her husband, her baby. I'm so happy for Nikki. I'm happy that she's at the top. And one thing I do love about Nikki, I can say this. I love how I love I love how Nikki has executed everything she said in her previous music, like when she first started out. You know, I, that's one thing I live for. Like if you go and you know what, I'm not even gonna be a bitch. Go stream Beat Me Up Scotty, girl. Run it up. Run it up, girl. Run Beat Me Up Scotty, okay? If you go listen to her music, and this is like, you know, one of the first. I, w- I think it was, was it the first or one of the first. I don't know, because I don't I don't know. It, it's one of the first mixtapes she dropped, okay? It's a lot of things she said in her, her music, like about, you know, being at the top. And she's going to get this, she's going to get that, she's going to do this, she's going to do that. And she executed literally everything she said. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, Okay, she literally did everything she said she was gonna do. And I just, I really live for it. It's inspiring, it's inspiring. Nikki is inspiring. Considering all things that she's been through throughout her, her, girl, I'm tripping. Considering all things she's been through throughout her whole career, Nikki, I definitely can say has really like killed the game and she (laughs) did what she had to do. She came through and she delivered. And Nikki, I'm so proud of you. Now, Saying all that to say, the barbs, y'all really need to get out of y'all's head, out of this little fantasy Nikki world that you live in, and just open your eyes sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to hold your fave accountable. If Megan did some flaw shit, I'ma hold her accountable, trust me. I'm definitely gonna hold her accountable, but I'ma still love her. But I'm going to hold her accountable for some flaw shit that she's ever done it. Like the whole Tory situation. I believe her. Why would anybody lie about that? Cardi B. Everyone holds her accountable all the time. And I love Cardi. I love Cardi B. Period. I really wish her and Nicki would stop feuding. But, I mean, hey. <laughs> I wish I had a million dollars in my bank account right now, too. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> But, girl, everyone holds Cardi accountable for everything that she does and says. Girl, if Cardi breathes too hard, they hold her accountable for that. A mess. Right. But, I don't know, girl. I just feel like Nikki's fans are toxic. Nikki can be toxic as well. And Nikki's a Gemini. And I know Geminis, Geminis are messy. Geminis are so messy. Nikki, messy. She acts like she's not. Okay, and everything with her is always a clap back. Oh, I did this because of this, or I said that because of that. It's like, no, Nikki, that's not how it works. Like, you, you be shady too, and you know you do. You really do, girl. But I mean, hey, I'm not trying to start a Nikki hate train. This is not to start a Nikki hate train, so please don't come under my comments, hate training Nikki. But I mean, if you want to input on the conversation, girl, we definitely can discuss it. Period. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way about Nikki. I mean, even if I was, I wouldn't give a shit. But that's just how I feel. It's just what it is. Um, 
But like I said, I love Nikki. I think that the bars are toxic. Um, Nikki has definitely paved a big way for the rap game, the female rap game. And I also wanted to give her her recognition and her credit for everything that she's done. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Um, and Nikki, girl, keep going. I, I want to I wanna see you continue to win because you definitely already won, you know? Um, I want you to continue to win. I want you to continue making music. Um, yeah. Turn up on them. Barbs, fuck y'all. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I don't give a shit. I know. <laughs> um, well, look at the time that wraps up this video, girl. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so uh, that's really all I wanted to come on here and talk about. I want y'all to let me know if y'all like these type of videos, what you think um, regarding my opinions, because I have a lot of opinions about a lot of female rappers. I could make it a segment thing, maybe. I don't know. I just, let me know what y'all think. Um, and yeah, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Let's get the discussion popping. Let's talk about it in the comments. What do y'all think? Go listen to that shit. What y'all think about it? What y'all think about the song? What y'all think about the video? Let me know. Let's talk about it, girl. Let's key. Um, how do y'all feel about what I said about the barbs? Barbs? I'm telling y'all, don't come up in my shit. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna block y'all. I have time. I will go back and forth with you bitches. I'm sick of y'all. Anyway. But yes, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, most of all. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my socials. They're here somewhere on the screen. Check out my most recent video I did about Pride. Happy Pride, by the way. <laughs> I love you guys so, 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 so much. Stay pretty, stay positive. Love everything and everyone around you. Remember that if you feel like no one loves you, that I love you and the universe does too. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I've spoken my piece. Have a good day, guys. Love you. <laughs> Peace, stars. I want